know, if we live long enough, uh, things just aren't going to work out our way. And, and a, a common response that people have is to feel angry at God and disappointed with God. All we have to do is read the Psalms, and a, a third of the Psalms deal with people being angry or disappointed with God. I think God wants that authenticity in our life. I think those Psalms are a, a model for us that we can be honest with God and not have to pretend that we're not hurt, that we're not upset. But <clears throat> it gets difficult when people say, I can't forgive God. I, I personally believe that uh, on the moral level, it's, you know, we're not in a position to forgive God. You know, God is not in the dock waiting on our judgment. And sometimes we feel that way because we, of course, you know, God's truth is this big and our minds are this big and it, it won't fit. And sometimes, you know, we're, we're looking at things in our life that scripture says this and life is saying this and I can't see how this is truth. I know it's truth. I don't know how the truth fits together in my mind. And so I can be upset with God and angry with God. And I think my response is to be honest that, with my feelings. But to come to the place as those feelings settle down where I understand that, you know, God's truth is bigger than my mind. And I can accept that and maybe move on with my life. Uh, I don't think of it as forgiving God, but it's, it's experiencing an emotional change that is the same type of change as forgiving another person is. Um, but it's more like acceptance of what is true. And we know God is true and God loves us and that that's true no matter what it seems like. And so I, I just accept that and move on.